ओके सो हेलो गाइस वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन करंट कॉल्ड सिमेट्रिक डिफरेंस सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज फेयरली एंड इजी प्रॉब्लम वी जस्ट हैव टू यू नो यूज द सेट्स थ्योरी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू टेक एम सॉरी एन देन वी हैव टू टेक अ पर्टिकुलर सेट आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू टेक एम एज द इनपुट एंड आफ्टर दैट सिंपली द सेट सो आई विल डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट विद द कोड एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन द लॉजिक टू यूर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेक द इनपुट ऑफ एन देन आई विल सपोज आई एम टेकिंग अ सेट एस वन and i'll use the map function over here because i want to convert the input into integers so it is a map of integers and it consists of input dot split because, because they have told us to take the input in spaces so same thing goes for m and s2 so i'll just copy this whole code and paste it again okay and now this will become m and s1 will become s2 so now what we have to do is see we'll see, see the condition actually first so see the condition is Does the uh, that the symmetric difference means the symmetric difference? Okay, uh, the values those those exist in either M or N. So what does it mean is we just have to perform the union of A, S1 and S2. So they have actually told us over here what to do if we want to take the union. So S1 dot union S2. So I'll have to make an another variable S3, and that variable will will be equal to S1 dot union of S2. So first of all, let us try to print out S3 so that we can see if our if whatever we did is right or wrong. So I'll just copy the sample, sample yeah. I'll just copy the whole thing and we can check it. Okay. So this was S1, this was S2, and we got the union of S1 and S2, right? So it seems fine because because of sets two is not repeated twice and also it's fine. That's the importance of sets actually. So we got S3 now, and after that uh, second condition is what is the second? Okay. Uh, in either and M and N or and they do not exist in both, right? Okay. So what we have to do for that, I'll have to use a if statement. So I'll just start a if statement and if uh, I in actually instead of if not instead of before if I have to use a for loop to iterate. So for I in S3, I'll have to write if I in S1 and I in S2. That is if they are if I is there in S1 as well as S2. Then we don't have to use the. Actually, we don't want the symmetric difference. So basically, I should not be included. So I'll have to pass this statement because I don't want to do anything in this. So in the else statement, I'll have to append. You know, I'll have to print it. So I'll just make an empty list called L, and I'll just append the I in L. So L dot append I. So now let us try to print out L. So when I print L and run this bit of code, let us see. Yeah, so we got five nine eleven twelve, and I think that's what is the expected answer. Five nine eleven twelve. But see, when I print this out, it will print out five nine eleven twelve. Okay, let us try to print it basically. But see, huh? They have actually told us one more thing. I forgot about it. Uh, ascending uh, somewhere they have to. Yeah, yeah, ascending. So what we have to do is we have to arrange the list in ascending order. Order. So basically, to arrange it in ascending order, I'll just use the sort function. So simply l dot sort. so it will arrange every element of the list l into ascending system so over here it is not it is already there in ascending order but uh, there are many test cases in python where it might not be in ascending order and you may get you might get an error in passing any sample test case so that's why i did, just did l dot sort and after that i just have to print every element in i sorry l so again for that i'll use a for loop so again for i in l i just simply have to do what i have to do is simply to simply print out i so i'll simply print out i And when I run this bit of code, and okay, yeah, five nine eleven twelve, yeah, yeah, and we don't need the L and S three to be printed out, so I'll just comment it out. That was just for our understanding. That's why, okay. And L, yeah. So I'll just copy this whole code and paste it on Hacker Rank so that we can check if everything is right or wrong. Yeah, I think every disk is server. Yeah, there's no error. So this logic works. So thank you.